Oh. Hey, my name is Nicole Fiore, and I roller skate. You know the old school roller skates, two in front, two in back? Yeah, those ones. I'm gonna be teaching you how to roll and entertaining you along the way. Come roll with me. Although I'm not wearing my shirt right now, I'm just wearing a plain white t-shirt, please go to my website. It's linked in my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, please follow me on Instagram. It's linked below. These shirts are available for pre-order right now, and they will be available until the end of this month. And yeah, I'm excited. Sorry about my voice. I've been sick and completely lost my voice, so it's a little raspy still right now. But um, I can actually talk now, which is amazing. Okay, as promised, I will be going over Bowers. And Bowers are a spread eagle with one leg bent, and they just look really cool. If you have followed me for a while, and you do follow me on Instagram, you will see a lot of Bowers in my video, because it's just a cool, like, lungy thing while rolling that kind of gives you a different level. So in skating, you want to work in levels, especially in competitive skating if you're choreographing. You want to have a lot of ups, mids, and downs to have variety. And they're even making requirements now where you have to like go out of your axis or you have to balance. There's like balance maneuvers that they want you at different levels if possible. Sometimes it's not possible. Sometimes my skaters can't really get down there, but um, you know, we try. Bowers. Again, I probably should have researched why they're called Bowers. I'm assuming this is like a person's name. I may be completely wrong, but yeah, they're this. So it's just this long like extension with one knee bent. And what it is is a spread eagle with your front knee bent. So whichever foot is going forward, that is the bent knee. Before you even start this rolling, you should just try to get into that position. First of all, stretch, because um, if your legs aren't ready to do this. Wow, my wheels are dirty. First start with your feet in the spread eagle position. So like a wide mohawk turn and straighten the knees and get them to kind of move like this. And then bend your front knee. So you're in like, there's gotta be a name for this in yoga. Warrior pose, is that something? I don't know, I don't do yoga, I should. I like yoga, but I don't do it. I typically travel in skating direction. So my right leg is going forward and my left leg is going backwards, both on an inside edge. Sorry about my back bearings too. <coughs> I'm a mess, guys. Excuse me. My right leg is on a really good inside edge traveling forward. And with a bower, it helps to have your right leg in front of your left leg. And that might not fully make sense right away, but say, say you're doing a mohawk turn. Your feet should be in line. Like I said in the mohawk turn tutorial, my mohawk turns are difficult. Um, but your feet are in line, right? In the spread eagle, your feet were pretty much in line. You're on the inside edge, so of course they're kind of curved if you're pressing really hard. But now in a bower, you can do them in line, but it's easier if the right is a little ahead of the left. So as you travel, the left kind of does this behind you. So you're really leading with the one in front and bending that. Now it's easier if you brace yourself, if you put your hand on your knee as you do it, so that um, you get that lunge and you can figure out how deep you can actually go uh, without holding on. So like that. Hey. I'll try it on my left too. I typically only do my right bend, um, but there are times where you need to do it to the left. Also, if your boots are really stiff and you can't bend like this, um, these ones are stiffer than my gold ones that I wear sometimes. This little piece is a soft piece of fabric that allows me to point a little harder, a little more. So if your boot isn't cut down and it's a little stiff, you may have a harder time. You may want to untie the top hook of your skate so that just the bottom ones are tied 
and then you'll have a little bit more mobility because when you do this, first of all, you have to bend the tongue of the front foot, but then you have to bend the back, the heel of the back foot. Bowers in general feel safer to me because you're a little more grounded. If you hit something with your front foot, try to catch yourself with your back foot, but it's risky. I love moves that I can be really bent on. And of course, a spread eagle, you're typically on straight legs, which is a little uncomfortable for me just because it's not how you typically skate. So if you can be bent, even with one leg, it feels better to me, it feels safer. This is a small space, so I can't really give you like a nice huge bower. But um, keep that front leg a little ahead and you'll go deeper on that inside edge. Again, like the spread eagles, I tend to lean to the opposite shoulder. You can do like really cool moves with your body on a bower. You can, for a body movement, my art artistic skaters in World Skate, if you do a really nice bower and you like let your body go and bend forward, you can let your body go and lean backward. You can do a bunch of different stuff with a bower as your base. So it's a really cool level change. Like I consider it mid unless you're crazy flexible and are able to get like way down. I typically do this, this way. So all my arms are doing, I like bring them in like, I don't know, like a mummy. I bring them in and then I let them go out and I spread my chest open like that. And I, if my right foot is going forward, my left foot's going back, I lift my right up above and I lean to my left shoulder and I leave my left arm kind of low, kind of mid. And there's no harm in adding a little hair flip as your arms go out. It's harder standing still. To the left, it would be the same, just opposite. You can spread them open like that, like you're opening a door. If you want to lean forward, you can go down. Um, I use my arms a lot to like maintain my momentum. So you can of course just drop down and not lift your arms after. But to me, if I'm gonna drop down, I need to lift my arms to maintain the movement so that it's not just like, and it stops. You always want to like keep the fluidity. My biggest criticism when I was competing was that I moved too quickly and I think I just really wanted my routines to be over because they're freaking tiring. And I was always really nervous in competition, so I just like, I loved it, but I wanted it to be done. So my criticism was that I moved too quickly and I didn't finish my moves. So even if you're not competing, you just wanna look good in your videos, like make sure that you continue your movement and you follow it through even your fingertips. And the same goes for your chin, for the top of your head, for your toes. Like you want to make sure that you are finishing your movements and that if someone had a camera and they were taking pictures, that you create picture moments thinking of your lines. That was a lot to get into and completely off topic, but it is important. So if you want to go down, I would go down, come back up, maybe add a little spin. Um, if you want to go back, I'm not as flexible going back. Um, some of my students are really good at this, but if you want to go back, I would lean out of my abs. <laughs> I would lean to my right. I wouldn't lean to my left. Yeah, you could. I'm not going to demonstrate that. It's too hard for me. It's really a lot of a stretch. Like, I really would need to stretch before I try that. But um, yeah, that's a bower. So make sure you're really pressing the inside edge. Let the back foot go back a little bit more and really put the weight on your front foot and just kind of let your back foot be like a sail. So it helps guide you. This one is really like the front of the boat and that one's your sail. I know nothing about sailing. I use that analogy a lot and I've never been sailing. Um, anyway. Well, wasn't that educational? Go ahead and like this video. 
and subscribe to my channel while you're at it. You know, if you want to learn how to be cool and not fall down so much. I have pockets again. Check that out. Um, I kind of just look like I'm going to the beach right now, but it's really hot, so I want it to be cool and comfy. Um, but yeah, my shirts are available for pre-order. Go to my website, I will link it below, and um, dad has hats, because I like hats, and I like skating in hats, so um, yeah, maybe we'll come out with some shorts or something soon, but for now, t-shirts and I...